Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the channel of me and my three cats. Just three for a moment. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today it's finally the day of my plant tour video. I know it's been highly requested for a while now. So this is the part one of possibly two parts of the tour because I just don't want to make this video become far too long. Okay, let's start from this side. Here next to my mirror is my philodendron hederaceum lemon lime or we call it in Indonesia as a philo lemon. I place it here for a aesthetic reason but in two months or so I'll move it back next to the window. And as you can see this leaf has variegation in it which is super cute. I really love it. Moving on, this is my Syndapsus pictus exotica. You probably have seen this in my video about my secret potting mix for vining arrowweed atau media tanam Syndapsus pictus exotica atau sirilurik. Since then, I have changed to taller pole which is 100 cm ones and it's keep growing. I'll show you the variation on one plant that can happen in any plants like this the silvery pattern on these leaves this one has very silvery color and this one a little bit narrow next to it i have philodendron pastasanum or knownly called as philodendron mcdowellii i think it's got reclassified as a philodendron pastazanum and this is a new leaf very cute these plants can go really big so if you have enough space either indoor or outdoor i think it will be fun to have these plants around next to it i have philodendron gloriosum so this is the common form that easily found in indonesia I'm aware there's at least other one form called dark form which has more pronounced vein on the leaves like the white part it looks bigger than this one. On this side we have Synapsus triubii. This plant I have it for about a year and it was tiny like it's it was three little plants and I make it into one pot this one is Epipremnum aureum neon or Siri Gudding this is an Absuspectus silver splash I really love the combination of all these colors together how this neon color of neon pothos next to the silvery green color of Syndapsus pictus silver splash and also the silvery blue of the Syndapsus triubii I think it's really cute and this got a reflection light from the mirror and the windows next to it I just attach this part in between the retin mirror and the silver splash you have no idea how this was arrived I'll show you a picture when it was arrived And actually, I was ordering Syndapsus pictus argerius, and that's what it was arrived. And when I asked the seller, and she was telling me that it was the same plant. So this trubii is burnt because I used to place it here, exactly in front of the window, even though I always cover it with a curtain during the day. But I think she's gonna love it here more. 
let's move on to the next plant this is my strelitzia nicolai or white bird of paradise it's called white bird of paradise because it's produced white and kind of purpley flowers really beautiful and this is synapsus pictus argyreus are actually look like Moving on to this rattan self that I've designed myself. Uh, before, let's check out my supplies here. This is just a watering can, and this is the bulb of my alocasia black velvet. It's go dormant. I don't know what it was wrong. I think it's just it is what it is. I believe I didn't do anything wrong. Um. Before we going through my shelf, let's check out this cute species, Bagheera. I just can't. These paws are really cute. Sorry, honey. another distraction. Let's check out what it's outside. Someone's calling. I'm coming. Thanks, Sam. Okay, wanna come? Yeah. Okay, I'm opening the door for Max and let's continue. This is a Syngonium Chiapens. The leaves are very like um, matte, but also glossy and soft to the touch. If you want to try other Syngonium that are uncommon, you can definitely try this out. It's pretty easy so far for me. Doesn't really make any troubles. And this is my Syndapsus Pictures Silver Sun that are currently rooting. It's been sent by roots. She has massive shocked that is why i put her in the water this is anthurium vitarifolium and because this mounted on a piece of dried fern root slab this gets really dry very quickly so i have to be on top of the game when it comes to watering nonetheless I think it's really beautiful plants. I think you're gonna love it too. So I designed this shelf specifically in a way that so I can just hang plant like this and support a painting plants. So I have this kind of sticking part, six in total in few side of this shelf. And this is my Syngonium photophyllum albo variegatum or white variegated Syngonium. I have this one for a while. 
I have a video of me unboxing this Singonium actually if you want to check it out just click on the card up here so I have three of these plants around one up here and two of them downstairs I think you'll see it in part two So this is my beloved philodendron vericosum. These plants got attacked by a white bugs that are notoriously known to love growing in a raw rice husk, which is the original medium where these plants was growing. That's why I don't love raw rice husk or secamenta so much. And by the time I realized and act on it, the roots were already done. But luckily, I managed to cut off the very tip of the plant, and this is what's left. Very, very sad. As this plant was not cheap, you guys. Up here, I have Syngonium podophyllum alba farigata, which is the yellow farigata one. It's actually harder to find compared to the white farigata one. I just love the yellow variegation on a plant. I think it's really different. Do you like a yellow variegation on a plant? Comments below. I've come to realize that this alocasia pink dragon that are easily be found in Indonesia has a different look than the ones I've seen in Europe like the Netherlands so if you're a botany or if you have any idea at all please let me know the leaves are much thinner compared to my alocasia zebrina here I don't realize Zebrina has really thick, leathery-like leaves. I was shocked and I have no regret. If you haven't seen my unboxing of my Alocasia Zebrina here, be sure to check it out. I'll put a card up here. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you in the part 2, and take care, I'll see you next time, bye!